The White Alice Communications Tower loomed over the Bush community of Bethel, Alaska for more than 60 years and was a defining trait of the town, which made its demolition a sad event for the residents. To understand the story of the tower, let's begin with the state of communication in 1950s Alaska. At that time, Alaska was a sparsely populated territory with massive expanses between population centers, and transmission between these areas relied upon a thin web of terrestrial telephone cables. This system was woefully inadequate for the needs of Alaskans. For example, only a single call could be placed at any time between Nome and Fairbanks. The White Alice Communication System, or WACS, was developed to allow for easier communication between Alaska's cities, towns, villages, and military stations using tropospheric microwave antenna. Each site had multiple 60-foot tall antenna, each looking like a large, curved billboard which transmitted a signal at an upwards angle in the direction of another site. The receiving antenna caught the signal as it bounced off the atmosphere and headed back to Earth. Construction of the Bethel site began in 1957 and was completed January 18, 1958. The site had three pairs of towers, six in total. At the time, the antennas were the largest structures in Bethel and were built on one of the highest points near town. For 21 years, they were the portal to the outside world, as well as a crucial visual reference for snow machiners and pilots headed home from across the tundra. However, by the 1970s, satellite communication was becoming more feasible and proved to be a cheaper option than maintaining far-flung stations across Alaska. Some White Alice sites were sold off to private buyers, and some simply went offline. The Bethel site was officially decommissioned in 1979. Over the ensuing decades, the Air Force and Bethel locals stripped the site. Five of the six towers were torn down sometime between 1983 and 1999, yet one solitary tower continued to dominate the Bethel horizon. The White Alice Tower became a symbol of Bethel and its history, and climbing atop it became a rite of passage for the young people and new arrivals of the town. The Air Force felt that these unguarded and slowly deteriorating antennas spread out across the state were too much of a liability and began the process of fully demolishing unused sites in the late 2000s. Bethel's final tower came down on August 26, 2011. Bethel instantly recognized and felt its loss. Today the tundra has an empty point on the horizon for many people in Bethel, Alaska. Ask someone from around here about it, and they will likely tell you their story about the White Alice Tower. Alaska's bush communities are in a constant state of change, and it's worthwhile to investigate the history of the area around us to learn the impact it has had and will have on our lives.